Hi Virgo, I hope that you guys are doing great. I send you all much love and light. So happy that you're here with me. This is another love reading for October. If you didn't get a chance to check out the collective reading for Earth Signs, that's up on my channel as well. I think you guys will enjoy that. My name is Lynn. This is Passion and Heart Tarot. If you are new here, welcome. Or if you're cross watching for your moon or rising signs, welcome you guys. Let's jump right in and see what is coming in for Virgo in October. Before I begin the reading, just want to take a moment to invite the white light to the spirit. something here is maybe you feel like it's telling you like your intuition is telling you not to move forward leo energy is here you guys might be cross watchers or maybe you have leo moon or rising virgo because i just see where there is deception that's here someone that's not being honest they're not being honest. There's a lot of energy here of a person who who is not taking a chance, not moving forward. And maybe that's because you feel deep down, Virgo, that there's something not right about this person's energy. Because I do not like seeing that Seven of Swords. That's like a huge red flag to me. There's There's no positive spin on a person who acts like that. It's very sneaky, they're not truthful, and they're manipulative. If you feel right, if you feel like something is telling you that something is off in this person's energy, you have to trust your instincts because they're not being honest. I can see that they're a liar. They're a liar. If you, cause, um, if you feel like things haven't been right between you and them, like maybe you're giving more, doing more, and you can't get them to open up to you the way that you want. Maybe you want to spend more time with them and they keep giving you excuses. It's because there's something fishy about that person. I wonder if, um, I think there's a lot of karma here and that's not intended to be a punishment, but I see the way that having this person around you now, it brings out a lot of things within you. Um, I wonder if you feel like this person brings out your insecurities because of the way it's so lopsided. And it's lopsided because they're not being honest. They're not being truthful. It's not lopsided because you are lacking anything or you don't live up to what this person wants. That's not the case. This person is very manipulative. There's something off. There's something that they're keeping from you. Because I see the way that um, this person, it kind of throws you for a loop, feeling like, well, normally you're very confident, very powerful, but like around them, it's just, it brings out insecurities within you, which I know might not be normal for you because it's like, you're waiting, waiting, waiting to see where things are gonna go and they're not moving forward. You feel like, I see where you're in this energy of, of seeing it. Because all of this is like something that's building up and it's going to come to a head. You're going to come to the realization of like why you can't get a hold of them at like certain times. Why you can't spend time with them the way that you want to. Why when you make an offer of something that's romantic, maybe even to like go away or do something, spend time together, they can never do it. Why they haven't like taken that chance and made things official with you. There's a lot of gray areas here, a lot of confusion. And I think some of you are gonna find out that it's because this person is keeping things from you and they're not trustworthy. Deep down, I know that you probably already sense it. That's for some of you that are in tune enough 
to, to just feel like something is not right because it's not right. I know where this is like, um, it could even be just a season, not something that's meant to be like this full blown milestone accomplishing relationship. It's just like all part of love on your journey. That's what I see the kind of energy this person is giving. And maybe even to teach you um, to listen to yourself more, to not ignore the red flags, or even how to put up new boundaries for yourself. Because I wonder how much of this you keep accepting when like you normally would not. I wonder if it has you way outside of your character. And that's not a bad thing. We all have to go through things like that, where we learn about ourselves and we learn how to put up boundaries based on what someone does and how they treat us. I just have to let you know that there's something that's way off about them. They're not being honest with you. They're not being truthful, especially if like all of this clicked with you and you're like, hey, how come I can't get a hold of them at this time? How come I never met their friends? How come I never met their family? How come... um. We can never like spend the weekend together. There's something just that they're keeping from you. Let's look into this seven of swords. Cause I just see where you're in this energy of finding out, putting two and two together and things are gonna start to make sense and you're gonna start to see uh, the truth about them. Let's look at the seven of swords spirit. This is a person who is is stretched really, really thin. They are. There's a lot of energy here of there. This is a person who's just going to put. They're they're not going to put anything ahead of what they want. So you can say that they're really self-centered. I mean, I I don't say that to put them down. I just see where they feel like they have so much that's going on in their life, especially if like they're really wrapped up in work or school or whatever this is that they're trying to accomplish. I just see that they're in this energy of like putting themselves first. And if you want this person to make you a priority, they're not going to do it. And that is not because you are lacking something. It's, it's not. This is a person who they're not thinking about settling down. They're not thinking about being in a relationship. Because I wonder for how many of you, this is like hard for you to understand. It's like a situationship. Um, and you want so much more that they're not giving you. And I can see that they're not going to do it. They're kind of just out for number one, which is themselves. And, and that's just it. They'll give of themselves like physically and sexually. I see that. But how much real emotion are they offering? They're not looking. And I, I feel like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm just being so blunt with you guys but they're not looking to settle down they're not looking for ro romance they're not this is a person who they're they're not gonna that's just that's just really important for you to know because i don't want to stay too long in their energy because i don't like their energy i just feel like they're I just feel like they're um they can be kind of cruel, honestly, because they they're gonna do what's best for them in, in the moment. So if you know this is this this is like a warning. It's it's a particular reading for those of you that feel like you've just um been in this weird situationship. You want so much more from this person, and you're wondering like where is this gonna go? Where is this heading? What am I really gonna get out of this? Should I keep investing in it? I would say um if you're looking for a relationship if you're looking for love and someone who's gonna commit themselves to you that's not what this person is gonna do 
And if you're wondering like, well, why do I have to go through something like that? It's all just a part of your journey. It's a part of love. It's a part of life. It is not because you've done something wrong or you lack in any way. This is really something so you can grow spiritually, especially learning how to put up certain boundaries for yourself. Because I see chance after chance after chance with this person doing things that you wouldn't normally do accepting things that you wouldn't normally accept. And this is something that is meant to teach you how to see red flags and how to ensure that you have um, balance, that you are receiving what you give, because that really is what you deserve. You deserve nothing less. So I would say um, remaining in this co connection, still putting forth effort, you are settling if you do that. Because because they're not going to give what it is that you want. For those of you that want um, someone who's going to like open their heart, give you stability, um, you become a part of their life. That's really not what this is meant. That's not where it's meant to go. That's really not where it will go. It's just like a lot of energy of waiting, 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 and you're not going to receive what what you've invested here so if, if you're wondering if this is someone this is really a reading if you're wondering if you should walk away from this person i would say yes if you're looking for a relationship because if you're looking for a relationship that is not something that you're going to get here all right, Virgo, that's really important for you to know. And I think that as time unfolds, you'll start to see that side. You'll start to see how they're very self-absorbed and how they keep putting things ahead of you, how they make excuses. How If they're not opening up to you, it's important to think about the messages here from spirit. But don't, please don't look at yourself and feel like, well, maybe if I did this differently or that differently, this person would change. That is the wrong mindset to have. You have to try to re think as your higher self and about the grand scheme of things and about life and about love, not about anything that you lack because that's not what the problem is. The problem is just this person is very self-absorbed. They have a lot going on. They're stretched really thin and they um that's just where they they are. They're going to focus on themselves and they're going to do what they feel is best for them in the moment. They'll take whatever you want to give to them, but that doesn't mean that they're going to give it back. So there's just a lot to think about. Okay, Virgo, I love you guys so much. I know that that's not the easiest message to hear, but I also know that it can be helpful for those of you that are in a situation like this, wondering what's really going on, wondering why it hasn't moved forward, and wondering what you should do. Those are the messages from Spirit Virgo. And please remember that it only comes from a place of love and light, never ever intended to make you feel bad or, or put you down. It's only to lift you up and enlighten you and show you the truth if you choose to accept it as the truth okay you guys i love you so much thank you for everything that is what i have for you guys for october so far don't forget to check out your other uh collective reading for the earth signs that's up on my channel as well and i will talk to you guys in a few days thank you so much